What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets and Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the latest rumors regarding the New York Mets and the possible trade scenarios that can possibly go down in the coming weeks leading to the trade deadline, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you enjoy my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. You already know what to do. All right, guys. So, the latest rumors regarding the New York Mets is focused on third base and starting pitching. You've heard all over social media, all over the news, all the reporters talking about it. It was in the paper. It's on every type of platform you can go on to. The Mets are looking at third base. And the two guys they are looking at are Chris Bryant and Josh Donaldson. Those are the two guys that the Mets are focusing on as of right now. There is obviously a couple of people out, a couple of third basemen out there also that can possibly be a target. But as of right now, what's been known is Josh Donaldson and Chris Bryant. Why are these two guys are important? Well, it was obvious that during the offseason, Sandy Alderson was focused on getting the third baseman. And there was a lot of news regarding Chris Bryant. And Again and again, I kept on saying in a lot of my videos that Chris Bryant was the guy that want, was targeted by Sandy Olsen and the guy they want that he wants. And it's continued to be the same reason right now. Sandy Olsen wants Chris Bryant. Maybe the price was too steep in the offseason. That's why he didn't budge. But it also looks like the Cubs were looking to try to go for it one more time in the offseason. But it's looking like now with the Cubs falling very fast in the NL Central, losing the last 10 games, they're looking like they're going to be sellers at the trade deadline. And that is prime time for the New York Mets and to possibly get Chris Bryant. Now, when it comes to Josh Donaldson, Obviously, he's going to be a lot more money. Obviously, he has a couple more years on his contract. We're going to go over these guys' contracts really quickly so you can understand what we're looking at right here and exactly what type of money the Mets could be taking on if they get either one of these guys. But with Josh Donaldson, obviously, he is older. You know, he is 34 year, 35 years old right now. He, he has a contract until he's 30, 37. So, at the end of the day, guys, you're either going to get a rental or you're going to get an older veteran guy who is basically past his prime, but still could be a solid player for the New York Mets. So when it comes to Josh Donaldson and Chris Bryant, who would I want? And what would actually can be involved in that trade with one of, the, with one of these guys? Now, when it comes to Chris Bryant, and if the Mets are looking at starting pitching as well, there's another guy that the Mets can look at with Chris Bryant in a nice big package deal, and that's Kyle Hendricks. Kyle Hendricks has been solid this year. He has been great, but he, you know, the Mets are not looking for a number one type of starter, or possibly they're not looking for, you know, a top of the rotation type of guy. Kyle Hendricks can fit in very well in a four or five spot, especially the way Tyler McGill has been pitching for the New York Mets out of the minors. We're looking for a guy who can be a a, a possible three, definitely a four, and Kyle Hendricks fits that bill. So when I look at Chris Bryant, I think the Mets are also going to be. Uh, maneuvering in with Chris Bryant, Kyle Hendricks. Now you can say, "All right, but Kyle, Chris Bryant is a, is a is a rental." I understand that. I completely understand. But when it comes down to it, Chris Bryant is having a really good year this year. The Mets are in first place. They're in prime time, ready to go to win this division and do damage in the playoffs. Chris Bryant can provide that. Offense and defense. Obviously, Chris Bryant is 29 years old. He's a couple of years younger than Josh Donaldson. But what you're getting here with Chris Bryant is that you do have an owner in Steve Cohen that can possibly pay this guy. And you got to understand, too, that we're probably not going to have to give up too much because you will be taking on the salaries of Hendricks and Bryant. And obviously, you know, who can go in this deal? Now, you might not have to give up a Mauricio. You're not going to have to give up a Alvarez because he's untouchable. But you might have to give like a JT Jin, maybe a Thomas Zipucky, including J.D. Davis. No matter what deal the Mets do, Josh Donaldson or Chris Bryant, J.D. Davis is going to be a part of that deal. And you're going to be like, why do you want to get rid of J.D. Davis? Well, J.D. Davis has been hurt. We know we can hit. We all, we all know that. But he is a big liability at third base. And the Mets... 
this year has proven that pitching and defense wins you game, even with the run differential that the Mets have, which is basically minus three before the weekend. So the Mets are scoring a little over three runs per game, basically close to less than the league. And you need offense. And you need somebody who can also play the de- play third base with really good defense. Chris Bryant and Josh Donaldson can provide that. J.D. Davis does not provide the defense that this team needs because they're focused on defense and pitching. Obviously, in the beginning of the year, it seemed like we were focused on offense. We were going to score a lot of runs. That took a whole 180 turn. It's defense and pitching that got this team in first place. And we have to look at not just acquiring a big bat. We have to acquire somebody who can provide the defense with the offense that J.D. Davis only provides. And Chris Bryant, even though a rental, the Mets have an opportunity to actually get this guy on a long-term deal. And it would be very smart. Now, you could say, you know, you got Beatty. I understand that. You got Vientos in the minors. I understand that. But there's no guarantee that these guys are going to come up and be a guy like Chris Bryant. So, we have to look at the... You always want to look at the long term, but you also want to look at the short term as well. The short term is Jacob deGrom. Jacob deGrom is not getting younger. You already seen this year, he already had a couple of nagging injuries. You know, the the, the, inf- the flexor uh, inflammation, you, the, the soreness in the shoulder, the, the sides. It already shows that Jacob deGrom can have these little soreness and these little, little nagging injuries that is shown to get with all the pitchers. And Jacob DeGrom is not getting younger. Even though he hasn't pitched as long as a lot of other these pitchers at his age, he is still going to break down at some point. Now, it might not be for five, six years, but we want to take advantage of his dominance, of his greatness, of his Hall of Fame dominance and greatness right now. And to do that, you acquire one of these two guys. If it was up to me, I want Chris Bryant. I don't trust Josh Donaldson enough to take on his salary and worry about paying him for the next couple of years when he's 36, 37 years old. But with Josh Donaldson, you have to pay attention to why the Mets would want to get Josh Donaldson. There's one reason for that. If you take the money on his contract and take it away from the Twins... That can lead to the Mets getting a guy like Jose Berrios. That's why the Mets are looking into Josh Donaldson. It's not all about third base and offense and defense that Josh Donaldson can provide. It's about getting Jose Berrios. Now you're going to say, but we just talked about the top of the rotation. Absolutely. But if you slide Jose Berrios into this rotation, the Mets can be one of the top three teams in baseball. No doubt about it. We have a chance against the Dodgers. We have a chance against the Padres, the Giants, and anybody in the American League. You want to set this team up to go above and beyond what they have been doing. They showed you what they can do when they pitch and play defense well. The Mets need to acquire somebody like a Josh Donaldson and Berrios or Chris Bryant and Kyle Hendricks. It's a big deal. This is what the team needs to put this team over the top. You know, we're not. it's very hard to compete with the Dodgers and the Padres, the top-level teams, the White Sox, teams like that, if you don't have, if you don't help this team out during the trade deadline. I do expect Sandy Olsen and Steve Cohen to do it, but in my opinion, I want Chris Bryant, even though I love Jose Berrios, and that would be a, a big-time blockbuster move if the Mets can get Donaldson and Berrios, but realistically, I think the Mets can get Chris Bryant more than they can get Josh Donaldson. Even though Josh Donaldson and Berrios might not cost us prospect-wise as much as Chris Bryant and Kyle Hendricks will. And the only reason for that is the Mets will be taking on the salary for Josh Donaldson. And to make it sweeter for the Mets to take that money, you, they would have to provide a Jose Berrios in that trade for the Twins. So it's not going to cost you a Mauricio or even a top five prospect. It might take top take you about six to ten and take two of those guys while you're taking on a salary. With Chris Bryant, you might have to give up a Mauricio, a J.D. Davis, maybe a Thomas Zipucky. 
because Chris Bryant is younger and he's a lot better than everybody that's on this uh, in this video right now. So when it comes to contracts, well, we have to look at it really quick because it is important. We're going to look at Josh Donaldson contract right now. So when you look at Josh Con Josh Donaldson's contract, he's making twenty one million this twenty one a little over tw uh, sorry twenty one million this year. So obviously it's half the season left. So it's about a, about ten to ten to eleven million dollars that the Mets would have to pay. And then 2022 and 2023 is $21 million as well. And that little red over there is a club option for $16 million with an $8 million buyout. Now, at that point, it's not that big of a deal because the Mets will probably just buy him out of that contract. They're not going to take that option. You're not going to take an option on a 38-year-old. But Josh Donaldson is still a good player. So the Mets could look to take that money to save on prospects and to sweeten the deal like the Twins throw in Jose Barrios. And you can give him a, you know, a JT Jin and a Thomas Apucky or something like that to sweeten the deal a little bit along with J.D. Davis. So that's something that you can look at as well. But when we're looking at the Twins and going right into Jose Barrios and his contract, he's making $5.6 million this year. And he has one more arbitration eligible year in 2022. And then he'll be a free agent in 2023 at the age of 29. Solid pitcher, top of the rotation type of guy. I think the only way the Mets make this deal is if Berrios is in the deal with Josh Donaldson. They're not going to just take on the salary and give a low level, about a top 6 to top 10 prospect to get Josh Donaldson at his age if Berrios is not in that deal. So you have to look into that. If Josh Donaldson is in the deal... Is going to be traded to the Mets. Barrios is probably going to be a part of that deal as well. But when we look at Chris Bryant, obviously, this is his last year of his contract. But the Mets are not going to be paying the 19.5 that we see right here. They're probably paying around eight to ten million dollars of that money that's left on his contract for this year. And then he's an unrestricted free agent. Now, the reason why I think we might have to give up a Mauricio is because of Kyle Hendricks and Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant is an All Star. He's a younger player. He's a really good player. I think the Cubs would want something in return. I don't know if we would have to give up Mauricio, but it seems like that's the Cubs are probably going to be targeting that because in the offseason, they were targeting Alvarez and Mauricio for Chris Bryant. And there's no way that Cindy Olsen is going to do that, especially with Alvarez. So Mauricio can be on the table with J.D. Davis. And even if we happen to lose Chris Bryant at the end of the year, we do have Beatty and we do have Vientos. And, you know, it would be a little shocking... To lose J.D. Davis because now we're going to lose a third baseman. Now we need a third baseman if Chris Bryant does not sign with the Mets. So it, it could be that Josh Donaldson and Berrios is more realistic only because of the reason that I just said. Is that if you trade J.D. Davis, we don't know if Vientos and Beatty are going to be ready in the next year or two. And Josh Donaldson is a stopgap for one of those two guys. And they also, probably Vientos, most likely Beatty can also be a trade bait piece also, which I don't think the Mets are willing to do. So, in my opinion, I think Sandy Olsen really wants Chris Bryant at the right price, but I think he's focused on Josh Donaldson only because if they take that money on salary-wise, the New York Mets would want Jose Barrios in that deal to sweeten the pot and sweeten the package. I think that's the only way it can get done. With Josh Donaldson, if Berrios is in that deal. And that is a starting rotation that is very scary. No team is going to want that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you're enjoying my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching uh, the New York Mets' latest trade rumors. Chris Bryant, Josh Donaldson, Jose Berrios, Kyle Hendricks. Who would you want? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, let's go Mets.